Katie and Vanguard presents the Wrestling News in your daily wrestling newscast for Tuesday, July 9th, 2024. Good morning, I'm Mike Sempervivi. We begin today with Monday Night Raw broadcast live last night on USA Network from the Canadian Tire Center in Ottawa, Ontario. Rhea Ripley made her return to television at the conclusion of the show, chasing off Liv Morgan and confronting Dominic Mysterio in the ring. The appearance took place following the main event in which Dominic and Morgan had defeated Rey Mysterio and Zelina Vega in a mixed tag team match. The win came when Dominic pinned Rey after interference from Morgan. CM Punk opened the show calling for Drew McIntyre's suspension to be lifted during an in-ring promo. Punk was also confronted by Seth Rollins who demanded an apology for Punk's interference in the world title match at Money in the Bank. It's not just a pipe dream. Maybe for you, but it's not for me. For me, being World Heavyweight Champion is the most important thing in this business. You took that from me, so it's my turn to take from you. You want to get your pound of flesh from Drew McIntyre so badly that you don't care about collateral damage? Well, guess what? That's not going to happen on my watch. I could take a cheap shot at you right here, right now, but I know your fragile little body isn't 100%. But I promise you this, when you are cleared, you will not even be able to say the name Drew McIntyre before I snap your arm and put you back on the shelf. Later in the show, Adam Pearce confirmed he'd be bringing McIntyre to Raw next week to discuss lifting the suspension. Ilya Dragunov defeated Braun Breaker by disqualification when Breaker threw a desk chair at Dragunov. Sami Zayn attempted to make the save, but Breaker cleaned house on both him and Dragunov. Earlier in the show, Dragunov had checked on Zayn after Zayn was speared by Breaker during an in-ring promo. Also on the show, Bronson Reed defeated Pete Dunne. Reed attacked Dunne after the match, leading to Sheamus making the save, but Dunne walked away from his former tag team partner. Sonya Deville also returned to TV, revealing an alliance with Zoe Stark and Shayna Baszler when they attacked Damage Control after Damage Control's victory over Lyra Valkyria, Katana Chance, and Caden Carter. In other results, Finn Balor, JD McDonough, and Carlito beat The Miz, R-Truth, and Braun Strowman when Balor pinned Truth, and Jey Uso defeated Chad Gable in the opening match. And in more WWE news, This year's Money in the Bank Premium Live event experienced a strong increase in viewership over last year, according to an official statement yesterday. The audience for last weekend's event was up 46% from the 2023 Money in the Bank. The show was also reported to be the highest-grossing Canadian arena event in WWE history. And before we leave you today, we'd like to remind you that however you consume your content, you can find the wrestling news 24 hours a day and 7 days a week across social media. On Twitter, follow us at Wrestling News AV. Our Facebook page is also Wrestling News AV. The Wrestling News can also be found on the Arcadian Vanguard YouTube page. And for those who utilize Amazon Echo devices, just tell Alexa to play the Wrestling News podcast. And remember to make sure you add podcast at the end. Once again, for daily updates, breaking news, and more, follow the Wrestling News across social media. And that's the news for today. If anything happens, we will be here to tell you about it. No clickbait, no paywall, just the wrestling news. The Wrestling News is a division of Arcadian Vanguard, and the Wrestling Newscast is a production of the Arcadian Vanguard Podcast Network.